Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Chemistry Provin. So today we are going to discuss about the topic is called as a how to calculate the valency factor. So sticks to calculate how to find the n factor. So we know that n factor is a very very important thing. So where we are using the n factor. So if you see what is the use of the n factors. So, so many uses are there. So, n factor useful mainly in the calculations of the equivalent weight. So, equivalent weight we will calculate it by molar mass upon n factor. Here, it will be useful. So, next one you can see the number of equivalents. Number of equivalent. So, here we are using the number of moles into n factor we are using so here it is using and next one while doing the normality calculation so molarity into n factor so not only this in the titrations redox reactions so different type of the chemical reactions also we are using the n factor calculations we are using first we know we want to calculate the n factor so in this video i will explain about the how to calculate the n factor for acid how to calculate the n factor for base, salts, atoms, ions, we will see. This is the fundamental thing. Now you can see how to calculate the n factor or valency factor for acid. So if you see acid, base city of acid basicity of acid nothing but how many h plus ions it can be furnished out how many h plus ions it is giving whenever it is dissociated or if you want to learn simple thing how many h plus ions is can be um, can be replaced in a acid that is only called as a basicity so if it is replaceable only one h n factor is one if it is replaceable 2 n factor is 2 if it is replaceable 3 h plus that is called as a n factor 3 only in the while calculating the n factor in a acid we have to choose the h plus you have to choose so see here hcl one example so here how many hydrogen a uh, basicity of acid h plus cl minus that means it will use the h plus ions only one h plus ions it is q so n factor how much one factor is equal to one because it is giving only one h plus only it is giving next one you can see the h2so4 h2so4 so it is giving on dissociation so it is in 2h plus so4 minus 2 so how many h plus it is giving 2h plus it is giving so n factor is nothing how much 2 next one you can see hno3 so you can write H plus NO3. So how many H plus it is furnishing out? Only one. So N factor is nothing but one. So for example, if they have given the one equation like this H2SO4, H plus HSO4 minus. In this, what is the N factor? See here. H2SO4 there here is there. Same H2SO4 here he is giving the 2H plus here giving. But here it is giving only 1H plus only it is giving. So that's why it is N factor is nothing but the only one. Always remember how many H plus ions it can be replaceable or how many H plus ions it is giving on dissociation. So that is only called as a uh, N factor only we are calling. So for example if you see CO2, SO2. So CO2, SO2. So how can we? But here H plus is not there. But what? How can we calculate the n factor? So see here, simply we have to add the water molecule. We have to add water molecule. So it is gives H2 SO3. So for example, if you take SO3, H2 SO4. H2SO4 by adding up the water H2. So it is giving the H2SO4. How many hydrogens? 2H plus it is giving. So N factor is 2. Here H2CO3. So how many hydrogens it is giving? Capacity of the 
acid two. So this is about the acid. Next one, if you talk about the how many OH, uh, how many H plus is can be replaced. How many H plus is giving out? Always n factor depends upon the how many H plus it is giving. So next one, it is depends upon the base. It is depends upon the base. You can see the base. So here is nothing but the base is nothing but OH. So how many OH minus ions it is giving out? How many OH minus ions it, uh, it can be replaceable? How many OH minus ions it is giving on dissociation? So you can see example NaOH sodium hydroxide. How many OH it will give on dissociation? Only one OH will give nothing but Na plus OH minus. So n factor is nothing but one. So Ca OH we can write calcium hydroxide Ca plus 2 2 OH minus how many OH 2 OH so obviously n factor will be like 2 only so n factor 2 next one NH3 here no OH but what we have to do just we have to add the water whether it is the acid whether it is the base without H plus or without OH just add the water we have to add so water so it is giving NH4 OH NH4 plus OH minus so one N factor is nothing but one that's it so this is the easy way to calculate the N factor for or valency factor for acid and base now you can see salt here salt is different cases count the total positive charge or total negative charge you should not uh, sum or, or total positive and total negative take the sum of the positive charge take the sum of the negative charge that is the more enough so now you can see NaCl MgCl2 KlCl3 so Na plus Cl minus Mg plus 2 Cl minus 2 Al plus 3 Cl minus 3 so here positive charge how many only one positive charge so n factor is nothing but only one so here how many positive charge plus two here how many positive charge plus three so n factor is nothing but two here what is the n factor n factor is nothing but three only it is there so you can see NaH CO3 sodium bicarbonate so Na plus one so here H plus one so here what is the n factor n factor here what is the n factor n factor is nothing but one next one na2 co3 so what is the here n plus two so plus two is nothing but n factor is equal to again you can take the positive charge total positive charge as total negative charge also you can take but don't take the both you should not take for example if you see here na plus cl minus so here 1, here 1, 2. You should not do the sum. You have to take only positive charge or only negative charge only. You have to take. Okay, what about the ions? So, sort we have done. What about the ions? So, Na plus Cl minus O minus 2 N minus 3. What about the ions? Ions, when we are counting the ions, whatever the charge is there the charge is nothing but the n factor if it is the plus charge plus one is there n factor plus one plus two is there n factor plus two minus three is there n factor minus three minus four is there n factor minus four minus one is there n factor minus one so now we can see here what is the n factor n factor is nothing but three what is the n factor two what is the n factor one what is the n factor one so k plus what is the one factor one what is the n factor four that's it based upon the whatever the charge is there it, it is giving in the ions so next one you can see the atoms so how to calculate the valency factor for atom for example sodium potassium hydrogen lithium in this case you have to choose the valency you have to choose we know how to calculate the valency so how many electrons it's gain how many electrons it's losing to get the octet rule that is only called as a valency nothing but combining capacity so in case of the atoms our n factor or valency factor is equal to the valency only to see 
सो दिस इज अबाउट द एन फैक्टर एंड बैलेंसी फैक्टर कैलकुलेशन सो नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल डिस्कस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एन फैक्टर और बैलेंसी फैक्टर इन ए रिडॉक्स रियाक्शन सो सम रियाक्शन विल बी देर एम एन ओ फोर माइनस गिव एस टू एम एन प्लस टू सो वेन एवर दे आर गिविंग सम रियाक्शन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एन फैक्टर्स सो देर आल्सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज रिलेटेड टू दैट कॉन्सेप्ट सो नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल सी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एन फैक्टर ऑफ रेडॉक्स रियाक्शन सो थैंक यू फॉर watching the video if you are watching the video first time please subscribe like and share to your friend thank you